Hello there. Today I'll share with you some interesting tips and tricks for Java. This will help you a lot to improve your productivity, efficiency, and even to impress your colleagues. So come and watch these shortcuts that we'll cover today. Welcome back. So in this video, I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks that you can use to make your life easier in programming. So first, I want to uh, see the screen better. So I want to zoom in. How can I zoom in? One of the hotkeys is by holding the Alt key on your keyboard plus scrolling up or down your uh, trackball on your mouse look at this uh, uh, block of comments here so one of the templates that you can use is b com and press the tab key look at this it's converted to this format and now you can write more than one line as a comment so now let me teach you some of the templates that you can use instead of writing them letter by letter it's better to use the template here. First, what if I want to write a statement like print? So instead of typing system.out.print, I'll do this. So, you see this one? Just type this keyword and press the tab key. Done. Right? Now, if you want, do you remember how to copy this one again? Press control shift and a row down or up if you want so maybe you agree with me that to write uh this line that we are frequently use is uh taking too long so what uh, if we want to make a new template so this is what i will teach you at the end of this video this is a bonus for you and i'll share with you how to do your own templates great now let me uh do some other uh, templates now I want to declare a new string so to do so I will write s t and tab upper letter s t tab then this is a string and now I can define a string and let's move ahead and define some other variables if you want uh, to define a float so just type f l and press tab this will bring you the float. Now, I want to um, insert the try catch blocks, which is uh, the exception handling technique. So to do that, I'll try to write try catch and press tap. It's already structured here. It's already inserted here. I can write my code. If you are not familiar with this one, that's fine for now but just to tell you what to do and how to do this. Next, I will write the first command. So what if I want to write the for counter, to use for? And instead of typing the full statement, I'll type just for and press tab. Done. You see that? It's very cool. And here I can set and change the values. And next, I can do sum plus equals to I to find the summation sorry and next to find the so average equals sum divided by so if the user enters some invalid inputs here like negative numbers or zero then the try catch block will handle this for us I'll print a statement here again south tap error Let's check for the average. I want to use the if else statement. So I'll tap if else and press tap. It's here. This is the if else. So I'll say if the average is greater than or equal 50, then print. Now you know what I mean by south. And here you can say pass and else here south fail are you ready for more let's do it now to define another 
variable integer let's say m equals zero and i want to define a boolean so zero, and then press tab boolean no need to write the full word flag and i'll initialize it to true let's say now i want to use the do while so here is it do, just type do and then hit the tab button you'll be done so look at this i want to check i want to print something here and i want to increment the m by one again hit tab done so here i'll write if m greater than 10 then i'll set the flag to false f a false f a then tap it will be false Sorry, so i want to exit that do while when the flag is false while it's three true it's three <laughs> funny when it's true then i keep going when it's false and i'll exit that so these are some of the tips and tricks there are a lot of other things final thing here i'll share with you uh the the bonus that i told you about to write your own template so go to the tools menu here and go all the way down to the options from there you can go to the editor editor and you'll see all the list of the templates that we talked about and more now how to add new ones so look at this here click on the new button here and type whatever you want so let's say i want to use the sc let's check if it is available it's already there so let's say scanner and now i'll do this when i type scanner i'll see this template template click ok and now let's try it so here scanner boom here is it right so i can rename it now to scanner one and that's it so you can do your own versions you can work on them and this is a cool thing to learn about i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it hit the uh, like button and we'll see you later soon thank you and goodbye